STEM Vision is designed for the automated imaging and counting of human or mouse hematopoietic colony assays plated in methacult medium. This step-by-step -step guide will take you through the process of using STEM Vision, from loading plates into the instrument to acquiring images and reviewing assay results. Start STEM Vision and, if needed, turn on the heater. This warms the interior to prevent condensation on plate lids, which, if left on during imaging, could interfere with proper visualization. We recommend analyzing CFU assays without lids and no heater if the sample is to be disposed of after imaging. Ensure that the plate is properly seated, laying completely flat on the tray. A sample ID for each well is required for tracking and report generation. These can be entered through bulk upload using a CSV file saved to your computer or added manually at a later time. To start a run, open the Acquisition application. Complete the user ID field if needed. Then click Load Plate to load your sample. Select a destination folder for the images. If you have pre-populated a CSV file with sample IDs, it may be loaded now. Select Plate ID in the top menu and click Sample ID Information. Choose Import from CSV file in the new dialog box and browse to select the desired CSV file. The list of samples extracted from the CSV file will appear on the left side of the dialog box window under Sample ID List. Click Done. Now enter the name of your plate. Next, adjust the instrument illumination. Click Set Focus and Illumination. Find a location in the well that has few to no colonies or cells. Click and drag the red dot of the joypad to move the microscope stage to a clear area. It is important to find an area with as few colonies as possible. Use the top slider bar to adjust the exposure time so that the highest peak falls between the two vertical lines and the grayscale value reads between 180 and 190. Use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard for increased precision. Use the joypad to find a location in the well with a dispersed colony inside the green focus area box. Turn either the coarse or fine focus knobs to let the acquisition application identify the optimal focal plane. Once the optimal focal plane has been identified, the focus meter will show a current over max of 1.0. The further away this value is from 1.0, the poorer the instrument's focus. Click Done. Once the sample has been properly positioned, illuminated, and focused, click Select Wells on the control panel. Select a well and pick the correct ID from the Sample ID drop-down menu. You can either pick a previously defined sample ID or enter the information manually. Click Apply when done. Repeat the previous steps until the appropriate sample IDs have all been entered into the Well Info table and click Done. Select the software algorithm from the menu that corresponds to your CFU assay type to start the analysis and acquire images. Please ensure that the correct assay type is chosen, as each analysis package uses different criteria to identify, count, and classify colonies from different species and tissues. If additional plates will be analyzed, simply remove the completed plate, load the next smart dish, and select the wells to be imaged. Illumination and focus will not need to be reset if the same assay type is being imaged. Once all images have been acquired, they can be analyzed immediately by selecting the appropriate assay in the Analyzer application or at a later time. In the Analyzer application, click Select Folders and choose the location of the images to be analyzed. Multiple folders may be selected at once. All selected STEM Vision acquired images will appear under the Input Image field. After selecting your images, select the appropriate assay type and relevant conditions. Click Process to start the analysis. Once done, click Clear List to clear the analyzed images if you wish. Results from automated STEM vision analyses can be viewed in several ways. The STEM vision colony marker application can be used to view images of individual wells. Or Microsoft Excel can be used to import a summary table of colony counts. For CFU assays of human samples, printed assay report forms suitable for more rigorous documentation can be generated. 
Furthermore, detailed results for individual images can be viewed in the analysis result files saved in the image folder. To view your analyzed images, start the StemVision Colony Marker application. Click File, Open Image, and select the image you want to view. Human 14-day assays consist of both a bright field and a dark field image. Opening the bright field image will display a composite color image of the culture. CFU assays of mouse cells and 7-day human cord blood assays will consist of a single bright field image only. To view StemVision's classification of colonies after image analysis with the analyzer software, load data onto the image. Click File, Open Data, and select the corresponding text file for the sample. The specific subtype classification assigned by StemVision will be indicated by a colored circle around each counted colony and also summarized in the data table on the bottom right. If you wish to create a summary table for individual wells or plates, open Microsoft Excel and right-click on an empty cell where the table is to be inserted. Select StemVision Select Results folder from the drop-down menu, then choose the folder containing your results file. You can also generate a summary table by typing search criteria into the search box and choosing the results that match. Click OK to compile. Use the StemVision Analyzer application to generate a report of the CFU assay results. This is only available if you load a pre-populated CSV file into the acquisition application prior to image capture. In the Analyzer application, click on Report. Ensure Auto Print is selected. Select Find. Now, choose the appropriate assay type or enter the sample ID to be included on the report. Then click Find. Click the Preview button or PDF to save a PDF version of your report. Click Close once finished. Finally, you can choose to view detailed results for individual images in the Analysis Results file saved in the Image folder. All results files for a single plate can be accessed from the info.htm file in the image folder. If you have any questions or need help with troubleshooting, please refer to the STEM Vision Technical Manual or contact tech support at stemcell.com.